guys, it's Marina from Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. Welcome back to my channel. I had the most exciting day today and I really mean it. Like I have been over the moon happy all day. So I go into my Dollar Tree and I'm talking to my best friend. Uh, well, one of my best friends, but she's my like Dollar Tree best friend for sure because uh, she's as obsessed with Dollar Tree as I am and she's got her own channel called Gretchen's One DIY at a Time. So I'm telling her, Gretchen, you don't understand. I haven't been to Dollar Tree in like maybe three days because the other day when I did my haul video, I, pro I, I promised myself that if I didn't do my haul video in the car, I wasn't going to be allowed to go shopping. And then by the time I got done, it was so late and I had to use the bathroom and I was really hungry and I was thirsty and I, I had been gone for hours. So I didn't end up going to Dollar Tree. I never do that to myself. It was so late. So the next day I couldn't get to Dollar Tree either. I had a lot of things to do. I've I run a nonprofit and I've been doing a lot of stuff for my nonprofit. I do have a job, but I I was like, maybe I could squeeze in a little trip to the Dollar Tree. And then it didn't end up happening. And I was like, last night, you don't understand. So I'm on the phone with her and I'm telling her like, you don't understand, Gretchen. I was literally like crazy jonesing. Like I need to get to Dollar Tree tomorrow or there's going to be a problem. And I'm telling my friend this. And, um, and she's like, have this? Do they have that? Did you? And then I was like, oh, I, I screamed in Dollar Tree. Like, oh my God. And I couldn't believe it. One of my favorite YouTube channels was standing in front of me. I felt like I was, I don't know. It was the craziest feeling. I've, I've never experienced anything like that. I used to work in publicity and um, I used to go to all these parties when I was much younger for J. Crew, and I've met a lot of celebrities and I never cared, but I I actually I was I I was like like starstruck when I met Erica Fuller today. I was like, oh my God, it's Erica Fuller. Oh my God. And and she was like, Do I know you? <laughs> but then I was like, no, maybe not. But I, I do watch your channel and I have a YouTube channel. And then she was like, Oh, okay, okay. And then we ended up talking and she's so cool and nice. And I just, it was the best experience. So I don't know. It was really amazing to meet her in real life. She's a lot like she is on the channel. Look who I found at the Dollar Tree. That's Hi right. guys. Hi. Erica Fuller from Erica Fuller's channel. How you we, doing? We can't help ourselves. We're always in the stores. <laughs> it's inevitable that we'll all bump into each other. That's Hi right. guys. Check Hi. out her channel. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. She's really cool, really down to earth, and I had a really fun time talking to her. And it just made me realize, like, how this is all real. Like, we all have a reason for shopping. We're all there for a purpose. And it's amazing, like, when we share that information with each other. And that's what these channels are really all about. Like, I find things that I find use for. She finds things, and she shares the information that she finds use for. And it's just so beautiful. I love it. I love the Dollar Tree. It really gives people the ability to get things that they can't have. I mean, I run a nonprofit. Today I spent an insane amount of money because I found a lot of really great stuff for the Christmas um, stockings and giveaways and a lot of Christmas actual things like Christmas stuffed animals that play music. I actually have divided my haul into kid stuff and everything else because the kid stuff is so much. If you have a kid of your own or a grandchild or a teenager or... Um, you know, any child that you need to give something to or if you want to put something together for a charity donation or anything like that, you will definitely like the next video because I found a lot of really cool stuff. And there's, I mean, I have a ton of stuff. My camper is full of toys. I buy them all year long. It's like practically you can't even go in. Thank God there's a back entrance because we have to take the toys out of the back and dig our way out. At some point, that's what happens. As the days go on, I fill it more and more. And then I have to get people to help me take things to the shelter. But um, things that I found today are the kind of things that you can't get year round because they're holiday oriented 
Christmas style, Santa, elves, things like that. And the kids love those too. So those are like the stocking stuffers. And I got stockings and coloring books and crayons and just awesome stuff that might not really mean much by itself, but in in conjunction with everything else that the kids are going to get, it's going to make their Christmas feel a little better. And that's what makes me happy. But um, back to the whole Erica Fuller story. I was thrilled to meet her. I we I was like, no, we have to make a video in the store. No one's going to believe this. I'm going to tell my friends. I'm going to tell everyone. <laughs> and she was so cool. She was down for it. So I definitely want to tell you guys that if you don't know about her channel, I mean, I've been subscribed to her for a while. Actually, when I first started my YouTube channel, I didn't really even know how to subscribe to people. I mostly watched YouTube on my television. I didn't watch it on my phone and I was kind of like a bad YouTuber because I wouldn't ever comment. I would very rarely comment. Like I would only comment if I was like in my backyard, in my pool or watching YouTube like while I was driving, which is really not okay, but I do do that. And you know, stuff like that. If I was like waiting for someone and I was in the car, let's put it that way instead of saying driving. But you guys get it. Like most of the time I watch YouTube on my television and I didn't know how important it was to subscribe and like to people's channels, which is a good segue right here where I could tell you guys, it's so important to me if you would just like and subscribe and share my channel because I just did a 600 subscriber giveaway the other night and it, yesterday and um, one of my uh, subscribers that is always commenting won and it was really cool. I was actually really happy. And the funny thing is one of the papers fell on the floor and after my husband and I had done the giveaway, we look to see who the other name was and it was also tina grady because she had entered a, a few times and so i was like whoa it was her destiny she's always so cheerful and always says such nice things to me and really makes me feel so happy that i was so happy that she came out as the first subscriber giveaway winner i love so many of my subscribers but I was very happy to see that it was meant for her because even the one that fell on the floor said her name. So that was amazing. So after that, I had this awesome thing happen to me today where I met another YouTuber and it just made it more real. And now that I've been talking forever and you guys probably want to turn me off, I'm going to see what I could do about editing a little bit of this chit chat. But you guys know that I don't know how to shut up. Anyway, let's get into it. I really don't even know where to start. There is so much amazing stuff here. I just don't know where to go with it. So I, you know what? We're going to start with these because I, I literally love them. It was like a dream come true when I found these. Ta-da! And I really wanted to buy like a million, but they didn't have a million. And I'm not really going to be able to give these away to people in the shelters because I just, you can't get them online. I looked... They're not available for sale on the internet. There was a little bit on the shelf, not enough to buy like 50 or something like that. I I even asked them if they had another case and they don't. And I just bought one of each for myself because I really just, I love them. And then not for nothing, I, I'm not going to talk about Erica the whole day, even though I do feel like something really awesome happened to me today. But um, she did mention something that I like stupidly have never done. <laughs> She was like, once you have those, you can use them forever. So she's right. You know, once I have the, I had these last year, I did not save them. I should have saved them because I could refill them. And when I find new ones, gift them at least to people. Because if I still had mine, I could fill them with soaps, whatever I want inside of them. And reuse them year after year. And then when I find new ones the following year I can at least give them a, to somebody as a little stocking stuffer or if I mean this year I'm probably not going to be going to a million places but you know when life does someday go back to normal as I imagine it will and I get to go and visit with people and you're having like a dinner party or something you bring one of these and a candle and maybe some cookies and a tin and whatever but these are nice they're really nice they're not cheap and so that was a very good suggestion. And I am going to keep them this year. So then next year, when I get three or six of them, I can at least gift them. So thank you, Erica. 
Anyway, moving on, and now I'm going to stop bragging about how I met a YouTuber, and I felt like it was the great, it, I'm still happy about it right now. I feel like, I don't know, it was very validating. I had a wonderful, wonderful day. I've spent, like, so much money that I'm on a shopping high. <laughs> That's another thing. But, um, okay, so the, the tree smells like fresh pine. What does fresh pine soap smell like? I hope this doesn't smell like pine salt. I am going to be very upset. But nothing could get me down today. Okay. It sort of does smell like pine salt with like gumdrops in it. It has like a sweet pine salt scent. But it's nice. It's it's not bad. I like it. It's festive. And then Santa cranberry. Mm, I'm going to love this. Wow. Santa smells amazing. I love the Santa one. It smells amazing. It smells like cranberries and raspberries and apples and spiciness. Like boiling in a pot. And Mary Berry scented. This one's going to be the best. And he's the cutest actually too. I don't know. I don't have a favorite. I got it on my nose. Okay, so Mary Berry scented smells like it smells clean with a hint of pine tree. I think that they took the scent of the pine tree and the scent of the Santa and mixed it up and made Mary Berry scented because that's what it kind of smells like. It smells good, though. They all smell good. They're hand soap. It's good to have soap. You can't get enough soap these days. Um, you can't wash your hands enough these days. That's for sure. And um, I just, uh, I was so happy to find these. I'm really happy that I have them. And I wish that I could, if I do happen into a Dollar Tree that has like an entire end display full of them and a case available, you know I'm going to buy a case for the ladies because Whoever does get this, it like if you have a tiny little room and you're living with your kids in a in a shelter for the holiday, and you have a like a little kitchenette area and you have this in your kitchen, this is gonna make you happy. You don't have much, but during the holidays, you really want to have little things like this if you can get them for not a lot of money. So I would really love to get that. And my massive wish list item that I seen now a few people hauling are the mats. And I went on the the Christmas mats. I wanted the Thanksgiving mats and I ordered them. And do you know that they kept telling me they're on back order, they're on back order, and then now I'm not getting them. They finally told me you can't get them. Meanwhile, I could have honestly like bought them in the stores. There was a lot in the stores, but I was just being nice and I didn't want it to take them all or take 50 or I should have taken like 10 from every store until I got enough. But I was like, no. Let me order them in bulk. And I hate when that happens. That's what gives me this crazy anxiety. Like, should I just grab what I can in the store? Should I try to get it in bulk? But I have put an order in and I've been assured that I'm going to get a lot of other things that I ordered in bulk. Um, like, you know, kid stuff that I have ordered in bulk. And one of the items that I've ordered in bulk, which is killer, like literally killer. Dollar Tree is killing me this year. I mean... Do you guys see? These are the size of my face. This is how big these are. This is not an illusion. Sometimes things are like, whoa, that looks so big. This is not the case here. These are huge. Um, I don't know. They're like, I think 14 inches tall. Well, I mean, you know, at the very, very itty tippy tippy. But I ordered a case of these. And I wish I had ordered two cases. I really did not know how amazing they were. I hadn't seen them in real life. I had seen them in um, Marsha's Mush and Stuff channel in her walkthrough. I believe it was her walkthrough. Sometimes I lose my mind. But I know I had seen it on her channel first. And I was like, wow, those look huge. Are those like not ornaments? What are those? So as soon as I see something like that, I'm like, go on DollarTree.com. See if you could get that for everybody. And lo and behold, these were available. So a lot of little rooms with little kids are going to have these guys maybe by their door, 
maybe on their kitchen table. I did order trees also, so maybe by their tree. And I just think that these little things are going to make them so happy. If they had had the soap, I would have been happy. And I would have ordered a bunch of that because that's also like going to help them hand sanitize and be festive. That's fantastic. But you never know. Maybe I can find them somewhere else. We'll see what happens. But I love these gnomes. Love them. These are my guys. And I like imagine that they're talking in some weird gnome language the whole time that they're with me. I don't know. I, just, I love gnomes. Gnomes are what the red truck is to everybody else, to me. I love, 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 love gnomes. Love a super mega, mega score. I cannot believe how cute they are. I'm so happy that I have them. I really didn't get a lot of food in this haul. Um, I was really there to find awesome stuff for the holidays at the shelter. But I did end up getting, I think eight of each because I think that these will be nice uh, during the holidays to give out if people need a dessert or something like that and I'm not gonna lie I already have eaten one package of this and they are amazing I did see a lot of people haul the cookies but I really didn't know that they came in a strawberry filling puff pastry and I like they don't taste like a fresh baked puff pastry, but they're really good. Uh, these are delicious. You get four. I'll show you what you get there. And I even like this looks Christmassy to me, the way that it's packaged. You might be able to even put it in a, you know, a basket, of red baskets to play around and see. But I could see making like a basket with this and... Maybe this beautiful cutie pie and whatever, whatever you like, whatever you feel your friends or loved ones would enjoy. But if you want to add a food item, these look cute because they kind of match Christmas colors. Inside, it says that there are four. I had one. That's what they look like. There's two. These are delicious. If you see them, do not hesitate to buy them. I think they're super yummy of items that I picked up were actually wish list items. I had seen other people haul them and I was like, oh, my husband loves peanut butter and chocolate. I don't love peanut butter and chocolate together. So I just wanted to find them to see if my husband would like them. So I did get like a box of each for us and then I'm going to put the rest away to make goodie bags or give them out. Um, maybe even for Thanksgiving. It would be nice to add into the food bags at Thanksgiving meals. Um, and I did get these I don't know if I'm even going to like them, but um, my my son probably will. My son likes like cream type things. And I've heard that these are good from everyone that hauled them. So I'm, I, you know, I wanted to try them out for myself and I was so happy that I found them. Next holiday item that I picked up is this gorgeous magic sequin hat. I am in love with this hat. I will be keeping this one for myself because I love magic sequins, but I did pick up about 25 of these and I know the moms are going to like them. Some of the kids will want them. Boys or girls could really wear this because of the magic sequins, but I, I would guess probably mostly girls or moms. And I did get about 25 of these princess ones as well. So I know little girls always love, little girls love these tiara. These are super cute and moms and moms, but they're super cute. And then I'm going to look for uh, ones that are kind of boyish. They do make some cute like boyish ones. And they also last year, and I hope they get them again, had like Avengers ones and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles ones. And those are really cool, but I could not resist. And they did have like blue sequin ones, but I love the ones that I got. So I got 50 altogether of that. Then I picked up four because during the month of December, I am positive that I will not be doing any type of dishes of any kind. I am crazy busy during this. I did buy these and I... I did get a bunch of these and I really and truly love them. I'm sure you guys have seen these before. They have a button here. Let 
love them. Uh, last year I made my whole family meet us on this little tiny freezing Christmas like small cruise I and mean, it wasn't like a cruise it was like a I don't know like a mini cruise like a 30 minute getaway on the boat and it was like a sing-along and I made every I brought like a bunch of these I had so many I had bought for all the sh shelters because you can order these online that I just absolutely love them and yeah I love these. They make me so happy. I, I made everyone on the boat wear them. Everybody was singing and wearing these. And they remind me of not having to social distance and living like... These remind me of having a normal life. I love them. They make me super happy. And honestly, there's nothing that makes me happier than something like this. And wearing the necklace and the earrings and just walking around all of December in them. And part of January. Yep, that's me. This is That's the type of person that I am. But low or fast, I, I ordered cases of them for the shelters already. But mostly I bought those to show you guys how much I love them. And to have I, I completely love and I'm obsessed with this um, holly. And the total green holly. But no glitter or anything like that. And the super plain poinsettias. And I needed a couple more and I found two. And I think I have enough to do my poinsettia tree. And I do have two different types of plain holly, but I think it's going to work. And I, I love how they all look together. And I'm going to make a poinsettia tree kind of like that full tree. But this time I'm going to make it better. I have a whole new plan and I know what I have to do. That was my first one and I still love it. Uh, in another hour or so, it's gonna the lights are going to come on. And at night, it's so beautiful. Like when it's dark in here, I really love it. It's a very cool thing. I picked up a whole bunch of these trees. Not a whole bunch. I have actually some on order as well. And I'm waiting still for them. I ordered green ones for the shelter. And um, I wanted white ones because they do have plain white and sparkly white. But I wanted a combo because I'm going to be making um, a very cool snowflake wreath with six of these. So I wanted to get, I really wanted, I wanted to buy six sparkly ones, but it, I have not been able to find six sparkly ones. So I now have... Um, four and two regular white ones and I will alternate them because snowflakes are not all one kind of sparkle and I just am really excited to do a DIY with you guys where I turn this into a snowflake wreath and you get six of them and it's really pretty and I don't know if I, I saw it in green but then I decided that it would look cool in, in sparkly white as a snowflake I've seen people do it in green a lot, and it's cool, but it doesn't look like a snowflake. Sparkly white and white, now that looks like a snowflake. So I'm excited, and I finally have enough to make it, and I'm going to be doing that DIY very soon. Because that is a super easy, easy peasy DIY that you can then put things on it to light it up. I'm probably... And then I did pick these up. I actually picked up nine um, because I'm going to make one for here and then two for two different shelters as like a decoration that they could put up in their entryway. Uh, I do like to buy them some decorations because people take them and then they always need new ones. But this is like a really inexpensive thing that you can make into a ladder you take two of these and then you just you can even cut a tree hacksaw it works fine um or I can maybe get my husband to just cut it really quickly for me because I, I don't have the patience but once it's cut in half and you have two pieces you just glue you glue it into a ladder I'm gonna make it and you guys will see but it's very easy you just put a couple of rungs on here and you make it into a ladder 
And then you can have like the elves sitting on it. But I like to hang mine off of my windowsill when I change out my stuff to Christmassy looking. And then I have the elves climbing up my windows. And I think it's funny. The next items that I bought, I'm sure you guys saw in my thumbnail. It's just so much exciting, cool stuff that it's amazing to me how inexpensive it is and how many different types of baskets and useful holiday stuff you can give people. Now, I did get I did get comfort and joy and deck the holes, which is so nice. And maybe this one is my favorite. Tis the season. I, I think I might, I don't know which one I like the best. It's hard to decide. And I think that that's all of the large chargers. Then cookies for Santa. Now this is super cute because one of these, I have a bunch of these now. I, my, my Dollar Tree had run out of them. I mean, they always have the red, but they had run out of them, but they got them in and drove. So I have a bunch now, but you could take that and this, and you could put a mixing spoon of some kind. I did buy a ton of mixing spoons to put in the baskets because peas in there. Or even just one or two. But I love them and I think they're awesome. And then you decide, you know, how far you want to go. You put a brownie mix or a cake mix in here or a box of cookie mix for Santa. Chocolate chip cookie mix, uh, which you can usually get at the Dollar Tree or at the supermarket. Wherever you have to get it, you get it. And then you put winter wishes or a pot holder or an oven mitt, whatever you want to put in there, or a dish, you know, whatever you think they might be able to use. And you, you know, you set it up nicely. You don't need a basket. You just need one of those gift bags. And this is a very useful present for someone. And they're going to eat the cake mix, and they're going to do their dishes, and they're going to keep these and use them. And this bowl, they can serve their kids salad in this the day after Christmas or, you know, whatever. They don't have a lot of things, but this is festive and fun and also useful because they don't have a lot of things. So I love doing stuff like that. And I, honestly, I like getting presents like this too. I am a very practical woman. I like things that make sense. And to me, this makes sense. And even if they don't make the cookies for Santa, so what? They have a plate that they can use. It's all good. So... Oh, I just wanted to show you guys and I did buy that other basket to test out and see like which way I like it better but I really like the mixing bowl I love to use the mixing bowl because it's useful um so yeah so I got the cookies for Santa and they do have those three large chargers and that's all I saw and I think I got to see everything um as like one of those uh shyster tv commercials wait there's more because there is. There's more. Um, they have these. Comfort and joy. I haven't figured out a way to use these as a gift basket yet. Uh, deck the holes. And it's the most wonderful time of the year. And I did buy three of these. I only saw three different words. Now, they're not the same as the other one. So... I don't know if they have four and I just could, I don't think so though, because it looked very full and I went through everything and it seems like they made three different chargers, three of these trays. Now I bought these trays because in the winter, my family becomes like hermits. We do not like to leave the house. I leave the house bundled up like a polar bear because I hate the cold and we love having dinner all of us huddled up watching TV, sometimes in bed. And I know that's gross to like eat in bed, but we love in the winter to just climb in our giant bed and watch movies in bed, all three of us. And I think it'll be fun if we have like 
TV days where we could just put our dinner on this. That way, no, no filth happens. Usually, if we're going to have like a TV bed slumber party, I throw like something over my bed because I already know that my boys are slobs. But um, I like these. I feel like these are good for snacks. Or even if we're going to do TV time, like just watch television, chill out and, you know, have dinner. That way we can put our food on here so there's no mess. But yeah, they're like so cute. I, I could I don't remember them ever having these before. I mean, of course, if I was having like a normal life where I was having parties, I would put maybe hors d'oeuvres on them or you could put them on your mantle I honestly, I'm using these in the winter for dinner. That's what I'm going to do with, I mean, I'm not going to put my food on here. I'm going to put my plate on here, but each one of us will have our own. That way we can contain our dirt. And I just love comfort and joy. Um, I felt like getting all three comfort and joy because food is like comforting, you know, but, but I just, you know, I just decided I'm just going to get one of each. And I think maybe, deck, I can't decide which one I like the best, honestly. They're all so cute. <sighs> There's so much good stuff. It's, it's like stressful to decide. Okay, so I did buy a bunch because I'm obviously going to be cutting. I could put the like cake mix inside of here if I choose this, which I love to do that. Because you could do this when you're making the basket. You like tuck it inside. And then you put the cake mix. And the cookies for Santa. And then you could put the cake mix in here or even here or in between the two. But um, I love these. Uh, I love these as well. One of everything that they had. Because I do have these on order. Um, I just bought them to show you guys. Deck the halls again. And winter wishes. Very nice. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. This one is kind of like off center, but still very cute. And it's the most wonderful time of the year. I really, I really like this one. It's so adorable. And I sing the song in my head, obviously. And then, again, the double ones, the mini ones that are not mitts. Uh, I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas. Winter Wishes. And Deck the Halls. They didn't have comfort and joy in this one. I didn't see it. I don't know if it exists. They did have It's the Most Wonderful Time of the Year. Deck the Halls. I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas and Winter Wishes. So I think that those are the four and they didn't make these in comfort and joy. And it becomes like a little bit maddening to try to figure out like what to get and what. It's hard to decide. I have a really hard time choosing. Get... Um, some of these, I also, these are also available online to order if you want a lot of them. I think you can order four of these only actually, but I did get a couple for myself because these are great. Um, I like to put these under my pet dishes during the holidays actually. So I'm going to, during the Christmas season, I'm going to put one under my dog's bowl and one under my cat's bowl because it's Christmas for them too. So that's what I got these for. But these are also great to put in the baskets. I did get, I think I only, did I only get two? I did only get two. I, I don't think I ordered these and I'm almost positive that there's another um, sentence that's available, but Today in the store, I only found Deck the Halls and Winter Wishes in the kitchen towels. And I'm sure that there's another one. I'm almost positive. I could see it in my head that there's three towels on display in the order of DollarTree.com. Did buy every single solitary 
spatula that I could find because the ones that they have available to order on the internet, they're not as nice as these. And I don't like giving people the worst that I, I like to give them the best things that I can find. And these have been around a while now. So if anybody wanted them, they would have taken them. So I bought everything I could and I'm going to keep going out and finding more and more of these because these are really, really good quality to give to people. And I love that they match the Christmas stuff, but then the women can use these forever until they, you know, until they're no good anymore, but they are good. But one of the coolest things that I found today, which was one of the first things while I first got into Dollar Tree and I was talking to my friend Gretchen and telling her how I was jonesing to get to Dollar Tree, I was like, wow, they have the coolest thing, Gretchen. It's an already painted red truck and it has a color changing light in it that, of course, I will be changing out to battery operated because these are not even that bright. I don't know. I don't love the... I just don't like the vol voltives that they put in here. But I'm going to put the battery operated one that is on a timer. And I I think I'll probably put it in my kitchen to come on. Maybe in the windowsill. It's just so nicely made that I couldn't not buy it. <laughs> Even though I'm so over the red truck and I love the gnome so much more. This is amazing for a dollar. Like, I mean, come on. That is a really nice piece of decor. It, you can't beat it. You just can't. So, and it was while I was standing in awe of this that she was like, oh, that's old news. Everybody's already hauled that. I've seen, and I don't even know because that's when I saw Erica Fuller and I flipped out over that too. So it was like so exciting. But signs believe in the magic of christmas which is so nice you hang it off of here peace on earth which is really what we need right now we really need to believe in some kind of magic and we certainly need peace on earth we really really need this more than anything and who can't use more joy? Joy to the world. These are all really beautiful. They're so beautiful and I really love them. And honestly, I cannot decide what to do with them. So when that happens, I usually bring it to the shelter. Really nice sentiment. And they could decorate their entryway with them. And if people take them, good for them. You know, whatever. But they're not expensive. They will bring joy to that world. And, you know, I hope the message is clear. Peace on earth. Believe in the magic of Christmas. I love all of those sentiments. They're nice things to read. Uh, they're good positive affirmations. This one is mine. I'm in love with this. In absolute love with this one. And... This mug... You could just, and then put some hot cocoa mix right in here, or maybe a bar of chocolate, and like a cool, you could get a cool bar of chocolate, make a little bag of marshmallows, buy a whole bunch of mini marshmallows and make a little sachet of it for your, on your own, put a bow on it, seal it so that you don't give people crumbly marshmallows, make sure it's airtight, put a nice bow on it, then... Just put that in there even though it doesn't go because it looks cool and people could use it. And, you know, they'll have some chocolate and some hot cocoa or whatever. But how cute is that? Like, come on. I am in love. Or put one of the ornaments in the cup. Just put one of the little smaller gnome ornaments in here. I, I love the gnomes. The gnomes are where it's at. See, I love these. I showed you these guys as an example, but these are really amazing. They have cute little noses, but they're actually made in a really smart way where the nose isn't going to smack into the other cup and snap off if you put them away like that. But I always have a cup hanger, so these are amazing. And I do have a cut above the rest of the, I've never, these are the nicest I think they've ever made. 
they're huge. I mean, you could really give yourself a caffeine fix with this for real. These are amazing. Another item that they have in the Buffalo Check Collection, uh, the Red Buffalo Check Collection for the dinner kitchen stuff are these really beautiful, well, well made canvas on the back, uh, Buffalo Check on the front, 95 in cotton, 5% other fiber. It says the spot clean only because it is actually fused together. Um, you can tell that the two things are like glued together. So that's why. But if you wash them and you lay them flat, I'm sure they come out fine if you wash them in cold water. But I'm not, I didn't buy them to use as placemats. I bought them for, you know, my pillow making obsession. These, and I've seen people buy two and glue them together. But there are two separate pieces of fabric here. All you have to do is dislodge the glue and unstitch a little teeny bit enough to fit the cotton in here. And you fill this one placemat, it's red on the back, black and red on the front, with stuffing of a pillow. So easy peasy. And if you're too, if you can't sew it, this is really easy to sew back up. Even I could do that. Like in, out, in, out. But honestly, you can use the, the hemming stuff that they sell sometimes at the Dollar Tree that you just put it right here. It's like tape and you run the iron on it. And it seals it. And that's what I'm sealed and done. And then I will be able to wash these. But I decided that I'm going to glue, hot glue this guy on my pillows. Because he belongs here. And he fits actually. I'm just going to trim a teeny bit of his hat off. Just to give him a little bit. And I'm going to have him like, like he's running. So that his hands, like you know, like he's like that. And he fits because I checked it out and he does fit. And I think that that is going to be so cute as a pillow. And it matches. Super cute. The Santa and the Elf. And I think I'm going to put those all on the Buffalo plaid um, pillows. And I'm going to put those inside my house. And the ones that I'm going to put outside my house on my rockers... Now, you guys know that I have gone back and forth with this obsession. I am obsessed with this. I did get so many colors now trying to figure out what I'm going to put outside that I can't even decide. But I have like every color. I only found one red one and that's where the problem lies. <laughs> because once I couldn't find what I really wanted, I started to get crazy. So I have two tan ones, one dark green one and one red one. But... I do kind of feel like these I could use during Christmas time or I might save these for the spring. Um, these more than likely gray ones, I'm probably going to put um, like snowflakes on or something like that for after New Year's. I did kind of think about getting the black ones, but they didn't have two of them. So I did buy like every color of pillowcase so I can play around with them. And I bought these felt snowflakes in white and then I found them in blue. And I don't know. I kind of feel like it would be cool to put both of them on a pillow kind of like that. I'll show you. So maybe after Christmas for the rest of the winter season, I'll have these outside with on the gray and I think that's really pretty for $3. That's a nice outdoor pillow. Um, and I did get these ones. This is the green one. 
and I could put like just like that or probably this because I love this shape. I could put the glitter one, the glitter side, whichever, and then maybe, you know, spruce it up with a little bow or something. Can always add something else to it, like I did with my full ones. I haven't figured out where I'm going with these yet. And I have this, I love the green tree um, one. So maybe I'll do the red with the green and the green with the red and put these outside and doll them up with a little extra something that I don't know what it is yet. Those will be my outdoor rocking chair ones for Christmas time. And I guess maybe, and I have my buffalo plaid ones for indoors that I'm going to put on the sofa. And then I'll use the, the gray um, pillowcases for New Year's. I can't, I don't know if I love that though. I have a very hard time deciding on the gray. The gray, like, it's just so weird to me. I don't know. Do you guys even like that? Am I like going on a stretch here? Maybe I should have just waited to find the, because I think for New Year's, or I, maybe I just don't like the blue. I think the gray and the white looks nice, to get, nice together. What do you guys think? Let me, let me know down below what, which color combo do you guys like? Because I spent like 40 minutes trying to decide and then I was like, just buy them all. They're a dollar. Whatever you don't use with it, I can put it on, I can stick them to my shower curtain and make my shower curtain look like Christmas. I don't know, but I have a lot of tan ones. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I kind of felt like maybe during the Valentine season, if I never find red ones, I can use the tan ones to put Chris something. I don't know, but I grabbed them because like I said, you will never catch me spending $17 for a pillow that I'm going to put outside of my house that no one's ever going to put their head on that just sits on my rocking chair to make my house look cute. I will never spend 17 bucks on that pillow and it's just not going to happen. So now I think I spent $17 on a whole year's worth of pillow possibilities. And that makes me happy. Theo, when I finally decide what's going to happen. But if you guys have any suggestions, I am all ears. Let me know what you think. I did get that was over an hour and a half long. I've decided to split this video into two. And I'm just going to figure out somewhere in the middle to separate it. I'm sorry, but I had to do that. It was just way too much stuff. And there's a third video that's all kid stuff, stockings, coloring books, all kinds of awesome toys and child-friendly finds that I found to fill stockings with for the shelter. And if you have any children in your life that you're going to be gifting to, you might really want to check that out and see what I found. So, um... So there'll probably be three videos in all. And uh, thank you guys for watching. As always, stay safe and stay savvy. Um, watch the next video.